Hey there YouTube, this is 101 Bronson once again and I thought this might actually be a fun thing to do for a video take a look at um, a movie related book um, that I have, you know, that this is a movie channel primarily I'm gonna do all kinds of movie related stuff and I thought this might be a fun thing to do and I actually have to give a little shout out here to um, Eastwood for Life fan who is a great uh, supporter of the channel He's been commenting on a lot of videos lately. We've been uh, mess messaging each other back and forth on, on our videos. Uh, he has some great content, definitely check him out. And he has done this um, type of video where he takes a look at a movie related book. So, uh, East for Life, thanks for the um, inspiration there. <laughs> uh, definitely, uh, yeah, he's a great guy. Check out his channel if you haven't. He's He's especially when it comes to certain uh, movies like spaghetti westerns I don't think there's any better uh, YouTuber out there so yeah anyway the book we're going to take a look at today is the Roger Moore written James Bond <coughs> book on all the Bond movies and all the Bond it's called Bond on Bond so you know Bond as in Roger Moore's Bond on Bond on the other Bonds so let's take a look at the book shall we so this is the book, Bond on Bond, this is the Dutch version, um, so this is the Dutch title Bond over Bond. Um, the ultimate book on 50 years of James Bond movies, on 50th anniversary of Bond, this is when Roger Moore wrote this book, uh, so it was you know, around the time of Skyfall, so it covers every James Bond movie until Skyfall. Well, actually, Roger Moore hadn't seen Skyfall when the time this book was being written, so he didn't actually include Skyfall, but yeah. Anyway, this is the spine, Bond on Bond, Roger Moore. This is the back, with some great pictures, uh, Grace Jones. Roger Moore and a view to a kill, yeah. The original Sean Connery getting down and dirty with... Uh, <laughs> Uh, poor George, he has the smallest picture on here. Dalton, Moonraker, a great car from Diner Day. The Aston Martin Vanquish, and Q, Desmond Lovello, and Pierce Brosnan. Anyway, let's take a look at the book inside a little bit. Right? You open it up, you got a great collage of, of the bonds. A um, little introduction. More pictures of the of the Bond incarnations. Sean Connery right there. This never happened to the other fellow, eh, George? Roger Moore, Timothy Dalton, Pierce Brosnan, and Daniel Craig. And here's the contents within. You know the uh, yeah. Here's a little printing. Uh, information and now we begin with, a, with an introduction by Roger Moore great pictures in his book Sean Connery there and Dr. No there's one of the big things for Bond the prem premieres this one I think is Goldfinger is what it should say there oh wait now that I see that Bond back in action that was the tagline for Goldfinger yes another premiere Octopussy it's gonna be a while before something like this can happen again right and here's Roger Moore, may he rest in peace by the way, he's the first and only James Bond so far that has passed away. It's got to be my favorite of course, always right, but you know, Roger Moore, uh, yeah, he's still living the life. He was still living the life at this point, I should say. And then we go, this is the chapter Bond on the beginning. Uh, so of course it talks about Ian Fleming right here, the writer of the Bond books, and producers Cubby Broccoli and Harry Saltzman. Great picture of Sean Connery there uh, for Dr. No. Roger Moore and the producers and director uh, Guy Hamilton for the press tour of Live and Let Die. Here are some Bond paperback novels or hardcover novels, uh, the covers. This is a great one for Formasha with Love. 
You Only Live Twice, great Bond book. Dr. No with Roger Moore's image on it. I thought Sean Connery did that movie. Anyway. A uh, picture of Roger Moore and producer um, uh, Lou Grade, who produced The Saint and The Persu Persuaders, if I'm not mistaken. Roger Moore doing some side work on the set of The Man with the Golden Gun. Roger Moore and the producers once again. A newspaper clipping of when Roger Moore had to cut his hair for James Bond. I can let you read up on that. You just pause the video. There you go. <clears throat> Roger Moore in training. A newspaper clip clipping about the uh, death of 007 and you only live twice. British Naval Commander murdered. I uh, hear this is actually a fun one. The license, um, no, not license plate, driver's license of uh, James Bond. Great picture of Roger Moore there. Cubby Broccoli. They always used to gamble on set of the Bond films. Ah, Michael Lonsdale as Hugo Drax. This is a great villain. Uh, this is a chapter Bond on, on the villains. This is where we're going to cover some villains. Of course, you got to start with the original Joseph Weissman as Dr. No. Oh my god, look at Ursula Andrews there. My oh my. Dr. No's uh, metallic hands. Uh, yeah, Robert Shaw as Red Grant and Lotte Lenya as Rosa Klepp. Uh, Donald Pleasance as Blofeld with the cat. Actually, funny story, Pleasance actually replaced this man. He would have been the original Blofeld, but they thought he looked a bit too much like Father Christmas. <laughs> I can kind of see that. He, he, I mean, this is more menacing than that. I mean, with all due respect to this actor. Uh, but, yeah. Imagine this one being a uh, Blofeld. Uh, I don't know. Uh, Ajab's head. Rosa Klepp's shoe. He, yeah, of course, is Ajab with his boss, Goldfinger, played by Gert Froby, and this is Harold Sakata. Goldfinger, this is the most, I think one of the most famous scenes from the film. You expect me to talk? No, Mr. Bond, I expect you to die. <laughs> the laser once again. Thunderball, the beautiful Claudine Auger, who also passed away uh, a couple of months ago. May she rest in peace. And Adolfo Celli, who I, I thought was, I thought he was actually a pretty good villain. Uh, I mean, it's not one of the best, but I thought he did okay. Uh, Roger Moore. Um, Yefet Kado as uh, Dr. Kananga. Christopher Lee, the man with the golden gun. Nick Knack, played by Herve, uh, Herve Villachase. <laughs> And of course, the beautiful Brit Eklund and Maude Adams. My, oh my. Uh, Kurt Jurgens as Stromberg from The Spy You Love Me with Bond. And Barbara Bach, once again, a quite, quite a beauty. Uh, the Golden Gun. Ah, here we go, the, uh, the iconic Jaws. Look at that. Richard Keel, great guy. He was a really sweet man in real life, too. From what I've heard, you know, I've seen him in a lot of interviews and I've heard story f stories from fellow Bond fans that when they met him, you know, he, he was the nicest guy. So, yeah. I never had the fortune of meeting him myself, but uh, I mean, look at that. He was a giant, too. I mean, a giant man, but a very kind uh, soul. Yeah. Uh, some other villains Louis Jordan, Octopussy, Kamal Khan was the character. Sean Bean and Goldeneye as 006. Christopher Walken as Max Zorin and A View to a Kill. 
one of my favorites. I love Robert Davi as uh, Franz San Sanchez in uh, License to Kill. And here we go, uh, w the worst. He's okay though, uh, Jasper Christensen, or what, what, what's his name? As uh, Mr. White. Uh, not too crazy about him. Ah, I did love Sophie Marceau though. And he was lovely, lovely campy over the top Bond film. Uh, here we go, my favorite chapter, I think. Bond about the Bond girls, yeah. Starting off with the first, the iconic Ursula Andress in the beautiful white bikini that she wore in Dr. No. Although she actually was the very first Bond girl, if you think about it. She is the first girl that Bond in Dr. No gets uh, sexy time with. <laughs> So technically she's the first Bond girl, but I mean, she's definitely the more iconic. <laughs> Sorry, I got a little distracted there. Speaking of distractions. I mean, am I even allowed to show this on YouTube? <laughs> uh, Margaret Nolan as Dink in Goldfinger. Perfectly rounded, I'd say. Um, some more Goldfinger. Uh, there's Arnold Blackman, who passed away last week. Rest in peace. Uh, Shirley Eden. And Tanya Mallet, I believe her name was. Oh, it even said it right there. Arnold Blackman, Shirley Eden, Tanya Mallet. Yes. Yeah, I would surrender for that too, Mr. Connery. <laughs> God, how am I gonna keep focus with these pictures? Um, Martin Beswick in Thunderball. Uh, she's also for the Spaghetti Western fans among us in the movie A Bullet for a General. Uh, Molly Peters um, massaging Sean Connery. Uh, it seems like he's liking it. <laughs> uh, ah, the only one that truly captured Bond's heart. Uh, Diana Rick as Tracy. In Our Majesty's Secret Service, the lovely Jane Seymour, <clears throat> Jane Seymour, and <laughs> Live and Let Die, Jail St. John, Diamonds Are Forever, uh, Lois Childs uh, as Dr. Holly Goodhead in Moonraker. Uh, I mean, it's hard to look sexy in a spacesuit, but I think she pulls it off. <laughs> ah, yes. Um, also from Live and Let Die. Um, does Roger Moore write it here somewhere? Ah yes, Madeline Smith. That's her name. And then here we actually have Cassandra Harris, who was uh, Pierce Brosnan's wife at the time. This is from For Your Eyes Only. And here she is with Pierce Brosnan on the, on the premiere of For Your Eyes Only. Yeah. This is actually Pier Pierce Brosnan's first involvement with a Bond film, the, the fact that his wife was in, in one. Ah, uh, Britt Ackland, Mary, Mary Goodnight, almost wanted to say good head there. <laughs> uh, Maud Adams, Octopussy, yeah, Grace Jones. <laughs> oh my god, this is a nice picture. Yeah, it's a very nice picture, I'd say. And this is from A View to a Kill with Fiona Fullerton, I believe her name is. And the lovely Olga Kralenko in Quantum of Solace. Ah, the other, the only other that ever captured Bond's heart. Vesper, played by the stunning Eva Green. She's probably my favorite Bond girl. I love Eva Green. Um, then we have Terry Hatcher in Tomorrow Never Dies. Ah, uh, my fellow uh, Dutch, uh, yeah, she's Dutch. Uh, Femke Jansen as Xenia Anatop. Also nicely rounded. And then we have uh, Isabella Skorupko as Natalia from Goldeneye. Carrie Lowell, License to Kill, Pam Bouvier. 
my my dr jones we meet again dr jones <laughs> Uh, Denise Richards, the world's not enough. Mariam Dabo, Living Daylights. Holy shit. Halle Berry from Die Another Day. Mm -mm. And of course, you cannot mention Bond Girls. I mean, or Girls in the Bond series without mentioning Miss Money Penny. Of course, uh, Lois Maxwell, Samantha Bond, No Relation. Don't remember her name. Caroline Bliss. Oh, yeah, this is uh, Desmond Llewellyn and uh, Lois Maxwell. Ah, uh, this chapter is about the gadgets. Of course, good old Q. Great picture of Roger Moore with the uh, what was it? The Buck Finder in the Live and Let Die. Of course, the Wolf for PPK. Great gun. Uh, iconic gun, I should say. The uh, Atachi case from From Russia with Love, tape recorder, uh, the homing device. Uh, the cigarette can save your life. Uh, all these gadgets: the Thunderbolt tracking pill, the breath, the breathing device for golf. Uh, Thunderbolt. Uh, this is, of course. Uh, this gadget here, dinosaur forever. Uh, the watches, Rolex and Omega and Seiko. Is that how you pronounce it? Seiko. Roger Moore. Ah, uh, the Golden Gun in all its glory. The wrist dart gun. Uh, the laser gun from Moonraker. Which kind of looks like they made it of a cast from an Uzi. This kind of looks like an Uzi and this is where the stock for the Uzi would be. Uh, and of course the License to Kill um, traveling kit. Everything a man on holiday needs I believe Q calls it. Explosive alarm clock. Guarantees no, never to wake up anybody <laughs> that chooses it. <laughs> Sorry about the leg you skiing. Hunting. Yeah, I love James Bond. The Tomorrow Never Dies cell phone. A shot from Tomorrow Never Dies. What's 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 wrong, Desmond? Is he destroying your gadgets again? <laughs> uh, I actually don't know what that is. Uh, a ring. Ah, the Snooper Dog from A View to a Kill. Visa, uh, credit card. Some um, product placements, some advertising, the Fabergé egg with a microphone inside and a tracking device. One of my favorite gadgets is this one. This is a X-ray vision uh, glasses that Bond uses in the world's not enough. You can see fruit clothing and stuff with it. Uh, pretty, pretty neat gadget that one. Uh, here we go with the cars. Yes, Aston Martin, baby. Of course, we got to start with the interior for the Aston Martin DB5, the most iconic car in cinema history, if you ask me. Uh, here it is. The Aston Martin DB5, with modifications, of course. Honor Blackman here, once again. Desmond Llewellyn. Uh, the, this is the bike from Thunderball. Here is the Aston Martin DB5 used in Casino Royale. Lil Nelly, another great vehicle. The Lotus Esprit from the Spire Lefman. Always fun to go, for, go out for a dive with that one. And of course there's always room for a lovely passenger. And Barbara Bach there. It does get a little fishy in there though. Yes. Speedboat, Live and Let Die, Bond of Arabia, uh, Mini Jet from Octopussy. <laughs> Probably one of the one of the more um, 
underrated Bond vehicles. I mean, they use this perfectly in the film, if you ask me. Uh, jet ski. Fido kill the uh, Renault car. Pierce Brosnan here. Daniel Craig doing a little drive-by shooting. The Aston Martin V12 Vanquish, I believe it was called. Or I, I, I do know it's a Vanquish. <laughs> here it is. We had John Cleese as Q for Dying Another Day. Bond on style. I guess this is about champagne and clothing and what he wears. I mean, I do love a white tuxedo. I do love whenever Bond wears a white tuxedo. Of course, the old, good old black tuxedo is just as good, but license to kill. Be Bond for a day? Oh, this is like some advertising. Shake and not stir it, of course. Fracto Martini. Vodka, rather shaken. Dom Perignon, 53. Which must be served at the correct temperature, otherwise it's just like uh, listening to the Beatles without air blocks. <laughs> Shot from From Russia with Love. I think Sean Connery is a little upset that Robert Shaw has ordered red wine with fish. <laughs> you do have the beautiful Daniela Bianchi here. She's one of my favorite. One of the more beautiful Bond girls, if you ask me. Roger Moore smoking a little cigar there. The suits. Connery being tailored right there. <laughs> Great newspaper clipping of. Good old George. <laughs> the space suit from Moonraker. Roger Moore actually says this is this is one of the outfits that I didn't try to steal for myself after shooting wrapped. <laughs> Roger Moore being measured. Pierce Brosnan and the Navy suit. Of course, Bond has three rings, which means that he's a commander. Commander James Bond, right? Uh, some shots of the bonds in tuxedo, in a tuxedo. Connery's, what do you call this? I mean, I never wore it. I never I've wore anything like this, but yeah, from Goldfinger. Here's something for the ladies to enjoy. I have been kind of drooling on something, on, on a few things. Now it's time for the ladies to drool on Daniel Craig. <laughs> with the blue uh, swimming front trunks from Casino Royale. Roger Moore in Berlin for after pussy. Roger Moore in, on the Eiffel Tower for... Ah, a few to a kill. <laughs> Should finish with a start. Connery, I think, had a few too many beers. <laughs> Connery arriving on the airport. I think this is about the tra oh my god. I think this is about the traveling they do for the Bond films. Connery and Honor Blackman, Goldfinger. The location for the man with the golden gun, the island. The bottoms up. Oh, I guess it's a real cl club. Should go there once this corona shit is over. Live on a die on location. Man with the Golden Gun again. Thailand, also for the Man with the Golden Gun. Um, Egypt, Spy Love Me. Rio de Janeiro for Moonraker. Great location, great city. Venice, Moonraker. Smells advertising. Uh, this is this is the um, monastery for for your eyes only. I 
I believe this was in Greece, but I could be mistaken there. Uh, India for Octopussy. Uh, Germany, Berlin, East Berlin, I believe. Or was it West Berlin? Uh, I, don't, I don't have my history correct there, I think. But. Uh, Octopussy again. Roger Moore on a fake Golden Gate Bridge on Pinewood Studios and Roger Moore's stunt double on the actual Golden Gate Bridge in San Francisco. <laughs> San Francisco City Hall for A View to a Kill, also featured of course in the Dirty Harry films. And here we go, Bond on other bonds and this is where he talks about the other incarnations great picture of well at least we got three of the James Bond actors together here George Lazenby, Roger Moore and Tim Dalton uh, Connery of course this is where he dedicates a few pages to Sean Connery and of course the battle that they had with Octopussy and Never Say Never Again the battle of the bonds yes Great shot here of Roger Moore and Sean Connery together with another legend I might add, Don Donald Sutherland, George Lazenby, Dalton, newspaper clippings, cartoons, <laughs> Dalton on location. Pierce Brosnan doing the media event for GoldenEye and a shot of Brosnan in GoldenEye. Now, this is a great image. Roger Moore and Pierce Brosnan together. Dalton and producer, current producer of the Bond films, uh, Barbara Brock. <laughs> Barbara Broccoli, <laughs> excuse me there Barbara, uh, Daniel Craig, Daniel Craig once again looking really great, uh, this talks about some Phoenix Lighter incarnations, of course another big part of the Bond universe, this American CIA ally, Bond behind the scenes this, show, this says, this says. Ian Fleming on location for From Russia With Love, I believe. Barbara Broccoli. Roger Moore says, Dear Barbara, I would love to play a villain someday. <laughs> love Roger Moore. Yeah. If only that happened, that would have been cool. Call sheet for Goldmaker. Roger Moore. And Guy Hamilton and Ryder Tom Mankiewicz. Michael Wilson, the other half of the Bond producers right now. Yeah, this talks about the directors. Maurice Binder, who designed the gun barrel and the title sequences for most of the Bond films. Up until License to Kill, that was his last one. M music composer John Barry. Great music scores that he has provided us with. The M incarnations, Bernard Lee, Robert Brown, Edward Fox, and of course, Dame Judi Dench. Roger Moore and stunt guys from the band uh, pictures. This is about, yeah, the stunt people. This is a great stunt, by the way. Whatever this guy got paid, it wasn't enough because I would never jump off that freaking mountain. Anyway. Ah, uh, this is about the premieres, the Bond premieres, yeah. I'm kind of rushing through this because I'm seeing that, we're, that we've been recording for a while. <laughs> anyway, this is a great in-depth book about all things James Bond. Ah, the Sideshow Toys action figures, of which I have two myself. And yeah, this is the final chapter I can actually 
wrap up. You just have some uh, production info about the about the Bond movies. You know who's in it, uh, when it was released, and the budget and the um, box office take. I mean, fifty nine million <clears throat> on a one million dollar budget budget for Doctor No. That ain't too bad for nineteen sixty two. You know, it just talks about those figures. I mean, there's the figures will keep growing and growing. Even talks about the unofficial Bond film Casino Royale. Yeah. Little die. Now with the golden gun, the spy you love me. Moonraker. For your eyes only. I mean, Moonraker was a big hit. A budget of thirty-one million dollars, and look what it. <laughs> made yeah. Octopussy I love this poster I would love to have this poster on my wall never say never again a view to a kill Christopher Walken <laughs> the living daylights license to kill Golden Eye, Tomorrow Never Dies, The World's Not Enough, Die Another Day, Casino Royale, and Quantum of Solace. And that is the book on 50 Years of James Bond, written by Sir Roger Moore. Anyway. I'm just gonna wrap this up for now because 30 minutes we've been recording this is quite I wasn't expecting it to go on this big but anyway if you did enjoy this um, leave a like and a comment uh, let's get a bond discussion going uh, thank you all for watching and uh, I will be back very soon with a different with another video and uh, stay strong stay safe so long for now